NASCAR has delivered a crushing blow to Denny Hamlin's regular season title hopes with a major L2 penalty. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Did not expect to be making two videos today. The first video we talked about Hendrick Motorsports suing Hooters on a new aero piece to keep the cars on the ground, but NASCAR delivered a massive blow to Denny Hamlin's regular season championship hopes on Thursday when they issued an L2 penalty to Denny Hamlin, Chris Gabehart, and that number 11 Joe Gibbs racing team for an engine violation. Denny Hamlin has been docked 75 driver and owner points, 10 playoff points. Chris Gabehart has been given a $100,000 fine, all for not giving NASCAR the race winning engine from Bristol. So let me explain what happens here. Engines are sealed and engines can be rebuilt, unsealed, rebuilt, um, but race winning engines have to be torn down by NASCAR. Denny Hamlin's win from back at Bristol in the spring, remember that crazy tire race, that engine was never given to NASCAR for NASCAR to tear down and inspect. And instead it was sent to the TRD facility in Costa Mesa, California to be rebuilt. And once TRD realized what had happened here, they self-reported the violation to NASCAR. NASCAR, of Accordingly, has to penalize them for this because it is a rule book violation, a major one at that, because technically you don't know if they were hiding anything in that engine. You don't know if it was cheated up. David Wilson, everybody from TRD says that with 100% certainty, that engine was completely legal, which they're of course going to say that. I don't think anybody's really questioning it. Uh, it's not like Denny Hamlin's win at Bristol had a lot of people being like, man, he looked like he just had a ton of power out there today. No, I would side with them and say that their engine was very much legal. It's certainly not going to help the uh, calm or quiet the section of the fan base that always is saying those, those cheating Yoders out there because people still believe that Toyota is cheating. They're not, but I get it. I get why people are upset. So they were self-reported it. NASCAR penalized them accordingly. And for Denny Hamlin, like I said, crushing blow to his regular season playoff hopes or regular season championship hopes rather, because he was in third place in points. He's now in sixth place in points. And those 15 points on offer, those 15 playoff points for winning the regular season title, those have pretty much vanished on him at this point. Plus he got a 10 playoff point penalty. He goes from 21 down to 11. Now that's like taking two race wins away from him. And granted, he can go out and win this weekend at Daytona. He can win at Darlington next weekend as well. He's very good at both tracks, but that is a crushing blow to his regular season title hopes and something that can very much affect him into the playoffs. Denny Hamlin and that 11 team every year, we wonder what is going to bite them this time in losing 10 playoff points two weeks before the playoffs start could be that thing this year where you're like, well, chalk it up to another thing we did not expect to see coming. Wreck at uh, Homestead getting outpointed. Ross Chastain's Hail Melon. It's always something with Denny Hamlin. And man, it just feels like this is setting up to be that thing this year because losing out on 10 playoff points is a big time, big time blow for, for he and that 11 team. For Chris Gabehart, I mean, we just heard Joey Logano talk about how you have to pay your NASCAR monetary fine. NASCAR sends you over their banking information to a PNC account. You have to go down to your bank, wire it. Gabehart is going to have to be calling up Coach Gibbs or even David Wilson over at TRD and be like, so... You want to spot me $100,000 because that's a hefty fine for a crew chief. Gabe Hart is not going to be paying that $100,000 out of his pocket. It wasn't his fault. It was, it was very much an issue from the Toyota racing development side of things. If people aren't familiar, all of the engines for Joe Gibbs Racing, for 2311 Racing, um, and I guess to a lesser extent now as well, Legacy Motor Club, are built by Toyota Racing Development in Costa Mesa, California, shipped over to Charlotte, North Carolina. It, logistically, is it the most efficient thing in the world? No, but when you have FedEx as a corporate partner, it, it works out fine. But it's not like the Hendrick shop where the Hendrick engine shop is on campus at Hendrick Motorsports. Same with RCR. Roush Yates is there in, in the Charlotte area. No, uh, the TRD engine shop is 3,000 miles to the west, which, you know, it's got its pluses and minuses. So, Lesson of the day, if you win a race, make sure you send that engine to NASCAR before you decide to tear it down and put it back out into service because it's going to be a 75 point fine, 10 point playoff penalty and a $100,000 fine for your crew chief. Today's video is brought to you by Driven Sunglasses. Head over to drivensunglasses.com today. Use code BREAKHARD at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. Great sunglasses. I am very partial to the Classic as well as the Camber. Neither of them are in my office right now. They are both downstairs because I wear them on a daily basis. So head over to drivensunglasses.com today. Code BREAKHARD at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. 
I think there's one other interesting part of this now. Denny Hamlin has three wins this season. That's what the record books say. But according to Bob Hawkers, if there is a tiebreaker for anything in the playoffs, Denny Hamlin is considered to only have two wins now. That Bristol win uh, and those playoff points have been evaporated. NASCAR is only classifying him as having two wins, which is pretty interesting at this point because, again, like I said before, this feels like a penalty that could really affect him as the playoffs continue to progress. We expect Denny Hamlin to get out of the first round, right? Probably, hopefully, for his sake. But yeah, that's a big-time development. And for Denny, this is a just big-time blow. Uh, I am interested to hear what he has to say on actions detrimental because, I mean... In all fairness, it's nothing Denny Hamlin did. There's people out here that are going to rag on Denny Hamlin. They're going to call him, you know, actions hypocritical and everything else that people have said about him. This really wasn't a Denny Hamlin problem. Not even really a Chris Gabehart problem. They gave their engine to TRD, and TRD is supposed to take care of it, and they did not. It's a failure on them. Toyota has admitted as well. Like I said, they said, hand up. We, we mess up in this situation. And, you know, they could have tried to pull a fast one. And then if NASCAR ever finds out about it, that probably would get hammered more. But yeah, for Denny, bad, 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 bad timing. So let me know in the comments what you think about this penalty. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter, as well as Facebook at Break Hard Blog.